Welcome to this week's episode of Low Quality quality Content. content. And on this week's episode of Low Quality Content, we will be doing a What's in My Bag video. Now, my good friend Sobi Sandra recently got a fresh, fresh village kunken bag, which inspired me to do my own What's in My Kunken Bag video. I've owned my Kunkin bag for many, many, many years now, and it has always served me well. Its professional and sleek, yet very casual look really is the perfect accompaniment to every single occasion. Whether you're going to a job interview, whether you're going to uni, whether you're just chilling at home, or whether you're meeting Scott Morrison, it is always my go-to bag. Now, let's get into the juicy part of the video. What is it? Now, the first thing I always want to keep handy is my assorted collection of very expensive pens. Here are some of my favourite and coolest pens. Included, we have our token cutie pen we got from Asia. My two staple pens I got from Muji. Just just in case you don't see that, Muji. RIP discontinued original line. And two other pens I got from the news agency yesterday. You know what they say. The pen is a weapon when you need a sword. The next thing I have in here is my very trusty wallet. Nothing says, don't rob me, I'm a uni student who lives two hours away from a uni, more so than a tattered warning wallet. Inside this wallet, we have our growing collection of Boost Vibe membership cards, which I always conveniently happen to lose for the five seconds that I really need one, but later on find not very deeply at all stuffed in my bag, as well as my very, very, very important Chartai membership card. Oops, that's Next, because hydro flasks are too expensive at Typo, but you gotta save the earth, we have our trusty reusable mug. The classic gold and sparkly finish on the mug low-key makes me want to savour this mug more so as a decoration rather than something I drink out of. So the next very important thing to always have handy on you is a plastic bottle. Now, admittedly, it is plastic and admittedly, I got it from purchasing orange juice. But in my defense, I use this bottle more than almost anything ever and thus I would consider it reusable. Next, you always want to keep something on you that you can flex. Because my Kunkin bag isn't really enough for this flex-worthy type of flex, and because my MacBook is way too heavy to carry around on the regular, I always make sure to keep in my Kunkin my trusty violin. This violin was bought for $60 off of Amazon and is probably the one purchase that I regret most in my life. Now, I'm not a very good self-regulating learner, nor did I ever have intentions to buy lessons for this violin. And also it came broken and missing a very crucial part to play it, which I forgot the name of. So it has been sitting in my bag collecting dust. But there is nothing more cooler, more cooler than being able to flex on somebody by saying, you want to see my violin? Next, we have... You know when you really, really want to get sushi, but upon closer inspection, the rolls all cost $3.50? Ah, uh-uh, ah, sweaty. That's why you have this fish. Homegrown things are much tastier and healthier for the environment and ecosystems too. Lastly, to top this video off, we have to talk about the thing that everybody needs to keep on them, no matter what the situation or what the day calls for. No, not your phone, your makeup case, perfume, deodorant, no, nothing like that. The thing everyone needs to have on them is... a majorly worn in campus seat. Ever been late to a lecture and all the seats have been taken up? Ever wanted to get a seat on the bus but conveniently every seat was filled but there was space enough to put a campus sized seat in the middle? Ever been waiting for a bus that's two hours late at a bus stop that doesn't have seats? No? Well, none of these things are problems anyways if you invest in a majorly worn out campus seat. Well, I guess that just about wraps up this video. 
Adios, amigos.